Hi, this is Shiva Rajaya from VitalCoaching.com. We are talking about tantric sex and vital sex. And the topic for this video is how to invite a woman into tantric sex. This is a video which is much more geared towards men. If you're watching this, here are a few tips on how to invite specifically women into the tantric sex space. This works if you have been already a lover with somebody you know, when you're already engaging sexually and you want to add a tantric sex element to it, if you are married already or in a steady relationship, or if you met somebody and you would really like to uh, start engaging in intimacy with that person. So here are some tips for you guys. The first one is that you need to be present and confident. Confidence is the first level that, or the first quality that is going to create attraction when you relate to women, to a potential sexual partner. If you appear insecure, oversensitive, or that your level of power is too low, it doesn't match her, very often there is going to be a sense of energetic separation coming from her, and she's not going to engage. This is um, almost like a cave behavior, cave reaction, energetic reaction, instinctual reaction, because a woman wants to connect with a man who has a certain degree of power, because that's what is going to secure the potential family in the future. So when you meet a woman, she's scanning you, she's testing you to see what your level of power is. These patterns are all, most of them, totally subconscious. You know, they are instinctual patterns but they are there in the background, working in the subconscious mind. So that's the first tip. Be confident and be present. Check the tone of your voice, check your body language. What is the, send, the message that you are sending out? Are you comfortable in her presence? Are you sending a message that is really this message of confidence? Or are you sending a message of insecurity? So that's something to practice. The second quality, which is going to create comfort, you know, um, when you are confident, you create attraction, sexual attraction. Then when you start being kind and loving and respectful, what you're going to do is create a safe space for where she can relax. And that creates comfort. And comfort is another aspect or another element that needs to be present for her to engage sexually with you. A third aspect to keep in check is your erotic energy. Very often what will happen is men are starting, a man will be engaging or connecting with a woman and his level of sexual intensity is too high. There is too much erotic power there either in the conversation, in the way you touch her, in the way you engage, in the content of your text messages or other forms of communication. It might be too intense. And when this intensity is too high, the woman will disconnect and take a step back. She's going to stop feeling safe or she's going to feel like there is too much fire in the pipes, in the connections between the two of you. So watch for your for how much energetic, erotic intensity you're projecting in the space that you share. Very often the idea is to match the other person's energy level. So relax, slow down. If you have the feeling that she's being triggered because it's too much for her, then slow down, relax. Give her space to speak a little. Uh, don't overflow her, overload her with emotions and too much sexual energy. Another essential tip is to know her body, explore her body, know what pleases her, what turns her on, what are the, the, the places uh, in her body, the ex exact um, energetic points that are going to activate her. How do you, do you penetrate her? How do you kiss her? How do you touch her sensually? If you practice some form of genital activation, with your hand, fingers, or through oral sex, you know, watch out, check it out with her. 
what is it that she likes and uh, this doesn't mean entering into an insecure conversation while you are having sex we are talking about hints here and there and especially being extremely receptive to the signs that she's giving you don't try to force her into something that feels uncomfortable for her the other challenge that you might face as a man is that every woman is different every woman will respond in different ways to your touch they will enjoy different parts of the, their body being touched different activation points being touched you know a woman might be very receptive to sexual activation when you touch her lower back and really massage the area. another one might be much more triggered when you massage her neck and so these are variations that you have to explore and be receptive one of the core mistakes that you can make is arrive in a tantric sex space with a fixed agenda here's what I'm gonna do here's what I'm gonna get and be like a machine moving forward without being receptive to the signals that she's giving you tantric sex is an art form it's like music you have to learn how to play imagine that her body is a musical instrument and that you find ways of activating harmony beauty sensuality ecstasy because you know exactly where to touch with what intensity, with what intention. This is something to practice. And um, when, when you become really good at that, then eventually you, 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 know, you gain more confidence, more, more power, and it's easier for you to attract a woman into that space for, you know, to, to honor her and um, give her something really precious. Another aspect is that you need to be a safe guy. If she has a feeling that you know you're fooling around too much and practice uh, sex in a way that is unsafe, you know where you don't use protection, you are fooling around way too much. That's not going to create a space of safety. That's point number one. Point number two, in terms of safety, is that you want to create a space of emotional safety. Typically, the places that she's going to feel triggered uh, is when, for instance, you are having this conversation and you start talking about your, your ex or you start talking about the problem that you're facing at work and then there is all this anger, rage and undigested emotions coming out. So when for her to engage sexually, she needs to feel like you're not going to become a threat in her life. If you express jealousy patterns, demanding pressure, become emotionally abusive or pressurizing or there is something in the tone of your voice that suddenly feels like there is this raging animal beast coming out the, all those elements are going to be turned off they are going to be deal breakers for her to be able to connect with you in a safe space so watch out watch what you're saying watch your emotional content if you have any shadows inside of you keep them in check and work on them <laughs> You know get rid of some of the stuff that might be threatening to to a woman another aspect is relax and be playful you know the tantric sex space can be some can be a solid topic you know very serious as well so bring some playfulness and some humor into it if you are like they're totally rigid a little bit like a machine trying to achieve some distant goal of enlightenment and sexual ecstasy you know she's going to feel under pressure she's going to feel oh my god this seems like a big deal and the uh, performance anxiety is going to, to kick in she might feel like she cannot perform as good as what you would like to 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 have there so um, you know be aware of that bring a, an element of lightness and playfulness into the way you you relate to her um, yeah another one is uh, play again with this idea of attraction and comfort sometimes we create too much comfort and there isn't enough attraction there isn't enough edge or mystery or sexual tension erotic power there so bring those elements as well uh, the typical um, uh, mistake that that you can make when you are in tantric sex dates is to be too much in the conversation mode you know unload your 
personal family history might not necessarily be the most useful thing to do when what you want is to create sexual attraction. So be aware of what you're saying and uh, the way you bring it in, in the picture. When it's time to serve her and really allow her to be the receiver and you the giver, really create a space which is really comfortable for her to relax. And uh, the moment she can totally surrender to your touch because you access her in a skillful way, that's one of the most beautiful gifts that she can receive as well. So these are the tips for you right now. There's much more to say. You know, we could spend a whole month there in uh, training practices, role plays, you know, finding, finding ways of escalating the touch through keynote tactics and uh, much, much more. But uh, for now, this is the video, this is the hint. If you want to find me, uh, connect with me, have one-on-one -on -one sessions, that's possible as well. We can work on Skype, we can work face-to-face -face, and, uh, and much more. And there are tons of resources on the website. Um, the more people are master at these things, the best, the better life is for everybody. So I encourage you to, to go and explore this deeper and start applying these techniques. Enjoy. I'll see you soon.